The tragedy of the Ocean Gate submersible implosion contains a hidden yet incredible life lesson for you, for me, and for all of us. And it's not something that anyone in the news or on social media has even mentioned. It has to do with whether or not you're choosing to live in truth in your own life. And this has to do with David Lockridge, the whistleblower engineer and submarine pilot who was hired by Ocean Gate in 2015 to ensure safety during submersible and surface operations. Lockridge voiced concerns about quality control and potential flaws in the experimental submersible, and he was promptly fired by Ocean Gate. According to one report, he was given only 10 minutes to pack up his belongings and leave. Even more astonishingly, OceanGate sued Lockridge, alleging breach of contract, fraud, and misappropriation of trade secrets. Their lawsuit stated that Lockridge shared confidential information with the Occupational Health and Safety Administration, claiming Lockridge did this falsely and in retaliation for being fired. Lockridge then filed a counterclaim lawsuit against OceanGate. In it, he stated he discovered critical information during a meeting with executives on January 19, 2018. The forward viewport of the submersible was only certified for a pressure of 1,300 meters, while OceanGate intended to take passengers to depths of 4,000 meters, the depth of the Titanic. The experimental design, lack of non-destructive hull testing, and use of substandard materials were concealed from paying passengers. Lockridge expressed his concerns at the meeting, but instead of addressing them or taking corrective action, OceanGate promptly terminated him. So here's the life-changing lesson for you and me in this matter. With probably dozens of people, including both employees at OceanGate and incredibly, the officials at the Occupational Health and Safety Administration who knew the danger the submarine posed, all of whom, for one reason or another, chose to stay silent, stay in denial about the life-threatening safety issues, Lockridge is the only one who spoke up, spoke his truth, spoke truth to power. He was willing to risk bucking the system and losing his job, and losing his job he indeed did. But here's the entire point. He's now the only one who will not spend the rest of his life unable to sleep, ridden by nightmares, ridden by guilt, ridden by having given in to the weakness of character and lack of resolve you also, my friend, may be facing in some decision you may be at the point of having to make in your own life, whether at work or in a personal relationship, whether or not to remain in denial whether or not to let a wrongdoing go on. It could even be something as simple as letting something that's bothering you go unspoken. Living in truth, speaking your truth, gracefully yet with sovereignty of character versus living in denial is a decision you make every day. In the smallest of ways, in just about every one of your communications and relationships. And it's an action you either take or fail to take. Transcending the Ocean Gate submersible tragedy, here's the question. From this day forward, what choices are you going to make? Are you going to live in denial? Or do you choose to live in truth and integrity and as a sovereign human being?